Nicoles y bienvenidos a Spring Spanish. Yo soy Cory, I am Cory, and I am one of the Spanish teachers here at Spring Spanish. This video is dedicated a todos los fans del fútbol, to all the football soccer fans. Because today, you are going to discover how to pronounce the names of some of the greatest Spanish and Latin American soccer players. Even though La Copa Mundial del 2020, or the World Cup FIFA, has been rescheduled until next February 2021, it is never too soon to start learning how to pronounce these names correctly. So, you pay your respect to their skills properly. Before I go further, we publish five weekly Spanish lessons on our YouTube channel. So make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss a lesson. Oh, and tell me in the comments what you think of the meaning of some of these apodos coloridos, colorful nicknames, and if they match the players. Comencemos! Let's start with one of my favorite ones. Lionel Messi La Pulga Considered by many to be the best football player of the world, Lionel owes his name to a known musician, Lionel Richie. Still, como él es argentino, since he is Argentinian, we will pronounce his name with all the vowels. Let's say it together. Lionel Messi. His nickname, La Pulga, literally translates as the flea. It is well known that he had growth problems when he was young, and those issues earned him the nickname La Pulga, the Flea, together with the fact that he was pequeño, rápido y con una técnica asombrosa. Small, fast, and with an amazing technique. Always jumping around his opponents like, well, a Flea. Javier Hernández Chicharito this Mexican football soccer player's name might sound como un trabalenguas, like a tongue twister, but I am sure we can easily pronounce it now. Let's say it together. Javier Hernández. Remember, the H in Spanish is silent. His nickname, Chicharito. This means little p, and it is somehow a nickname inherited from his father, Javier Hernández El Chicharo, the P, also a football player. He was named P because of his ojos verdes, green eyes, and well, Chicharito is like saying P Jr. Diego Maradona, la mano de Dios. Si no conoces a Maradona, no sabes nada de fútbol. If you don't know Maradona, you don't know anything about football soccer. Or at least that's what his muchos hinchas, many fans, will tell you. Known as la mano de Dios, God's hand, the Argentinian Diego Maradona was nicknamed after statements he made after La Copa Mundial de Fútbol de 1986, the 1986 World Cup Soccer. A knowledge that the first goal had been scored un poco con su cabeza y un poco con la mano de Dios, a little with his head and a little with the hand of God. And from there on, the world press baptized him with that name. Let's say it all together. Diego Maradona, la mano de Dios. And by the way, he even has his own song. Luis Suarez, el tiburón. I've heard people pronouncing Suarez as Suarez and stress the U in Luis instead of the I, which would be the correct pronunciation. Este jugador uruguayo, this Uruguayan player, has the nickname El Tiburón, the shark. I think we all know why, but he's also known as El Pistolero, the gunman, 
because of his way to celebrate cuando marca un gol, when scaring a goal, simulating shooting into the air with both hands. Pew, 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 pew. I would have nicknamed him the Nibbler. Let's say his name again. Luis Suarez, el tiburón. Iker Casillas, el santo. This is another name that is completely mispronounced. It is not Iker Casillas. In Spanish or in Catalan, the I is pronounced as I. So we start the name like that, Iker. And Casillas has a double L, which in Spanish sounds like a soft J. Iker Casillas. His nickname is quite easy to understand, El Santo, the saint, and it refers to all the times that miraculously he has scored a goal or saved the game. Sergio Ramos, El Faraón de Camas. Este es mi apodo favorito hasta ahora. This might be my favorite nickname so far. And also, it's a tricky one. Comencemos con su nombre. Sergio Ramos. Again, roll those R's. And as a side note, his last name means bouquet. As in flower bouquet. His nickname could be translated as pharaoh of pets. However, Camas doesn't refer to Betz, but to the city of Camas, Sevilla, where Sergio is from. Emilio Butragueño, el buitre. Otro trabalenguas, another tongue twister. This player's name is Spanish, and with one of those letters that only exist in our alphabet, the ñ. I've heard this pronounced as Butragueno, but the U is silent, Emilio Butragueño. His nickname means the vulture, and it is clear that it comes from his surname in Spanish, Buitragueño, Buitre. But if we go further, he receives it from an animal que se aprovecha de los desprotegidos, that takes advantage of the defenseless. The same as he did with the defenders and goalkeepers, always like a vulture waiting for the opponent's failure. Carles Tarzán Puyol. La mejor cabellera del fútbol, si me preguntas. The best hair in soccer, if you ask me. Carles Tarzán Puyol is a Catalan player who stood out not only for being the captain of the club Barcelona, but also for his impetu, character, personalidad y rudeza. Impetus, character, personality and rudeness, with which he stood on the playing field to defend his team. It can be confused with the name Carl, but the pronunciation is different. Carles Puyol. And it will be the Catalan version of the name Charles. The Spanish version is Carlos. Sergio Agüero, el Agüero Cum. This is an interesting name. We have the last name, Agüero, donde la U no es silenciosa, where the U is not silent, and it seems like a smiling face. The little dots on the U are called diéresis, umlo, and are placed on the U of the syllables G and he, when the vowel U must be pronounced in Spanish. So let's say it again. Sergio Agüero. Cum was the name of a cartoon character he used to watch as a child. So cute, right? Muy bien! ¿Qué te pareció este video? What do you think of this video? Do you have any other soccer player name in mind and want to know how to pronounce it? Let me know in the comments. We have a free, more in-depth Spanish training on our website where you'll discover the method that we use in our Spring Spanish Academy to have you speak in Spanish super rápido, super fast. 
you also get some free sample Spanish lessons there that come straight from our academy. If you are interested, just click the link in the description to sign up. That was all for today. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something new. And uh, gracias totales. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like and share the video with your friends.